Hello again, welcome to my scientific blog Discover Social Sciences. For those who don't know me, my name is Krzysztof Waśniewski. I'm a social scientist based in Kraków, Poland. And uh, in this uh, update, in this video update, I'm once again connecting with my scientific blog, which has a separate site. So if you go discover socialsciences.com or in other words, if you click on the link in the description box below the video, uh, you can get to like the main body text of this update. So the logic of using it is as usual. Uh, in the video you have something like an editorial. You have me talking about uh, the things I am writing about. Uh, and I am completely honest. In this case, because of that whole lockdown and because I don't have students to talk to or I don't hold regular classes, um, whoever watches those videos is like, uh, is what my son uh, calls a rubber duck. So I imagine that I have an audience in front of me and it helps me to phrase out some thoughts. Uh, which otherwise it could be harder to verbalize, to formalize. So, in this update I am developing on a mathematical model which I presented in my previous update. Uh, and it is a model for, let's say, setting a strategy of investment in the stock market. Although the model can be generalized, as, as, a, as you will see, it has like a deep theoretical, philosophical layer. Uh, the model is that of mean reversion or, and in consisting observing uh, like a transformed price in the stock market. Instead of observing the actual price, I observe and study uh, the so-called mean reverted price. Uh, so, it starts with that basic equation, which you can find in the body text of the update. So essentially the mean reversed price um, is built by, first of all, by calculating a moving average price. Uh, in this case, uh, or in my personal strategy, I most of all use uh, a 30 day time frame. So I calculate a moving average price over the last 30 days of trade in the stock market. Then I calculate standard deviation, which is a moving standard deviation too, over the same time frame of 30 days. And then I do the thing that you can see in the equation above me, in the slide above me. So I take the actual price. From this, I subtract the moving average of the same price. And the, uh, and the residual difference is divided or denominated in units of moving standard deviation over the same time frame. Uh, so that's the basic, the basic logic. And now the first thing that I want to attract your attention to is that this logic splits into like two component uh, to, uh, in, into two components. It is essentially that deep Newtonian intuition, the intuition that comes from uh, Isaac Newton, that we humans observe reality rather as gradients of change than as absolute values or absolute stationary states of nature. So what we essentially see, what we perceive, what we consciously experience is difference and change rather than reality in itself. So in this approach, in the mean reversion method for setting my strategy of investment in the stock market, you can see that this equation that you saw in the previous slide can be decomposed into two parts. One part is the actual price of stock denominated in units of moving standard deviation and another component is a moving average divided by moving standard deviation. For those of you who are somehow familiar with uh, the basics of statistics, you can see that the, 
the second component of e equation, so the subtracted one, uh, is simply the coefficient of variability, a moving coefficient of variability. So what I do cognitively in that method of mean reverted price is that I take the actual price, so the numerical value, in the first step, I denominate it in the units of standard deviation. So I ask myself, is it uh, changing quickly enough for me to pay attention? Hmm? So is it like, uh, is there any interest in paying attention to this specific gradient of change? And then from this, I subtract the general variability of the same price. So now I have something interesting, which changes interestingly, and I ask myself, uh, does it change or is it changing more interestingly than usual? Huh? That's the basic logic of that splitting of the equation into two component parts. And then comes like the last important component uh, the last important piece of theory I want to deliver in this specific update. Uh, in, uh, in the slide above me, you can see two graphs. Uh, they show mean reverted values for the same company, one of the companies who is st uh, uh, whose stock I am holding uh, currently. It is a Polish-Israeli company, Airway Medics. Uh, they essentially they make ventilators, so you can guess why I am holding their stock now. And uh, the graph with the dark green curve uh, shows the mean reverted volume uh, or the mean reverted daily traded volume uh, over like the last year of trade in Airway Medics. And my time frame for uh, moving average and moving standard deviation is, is 30 days. So this is the graph directly above me. The graph uh, on essentially uh, my right. Huh? So if you uh, if you watch it is it's it should be on on your left. So and, and, and anyway the blue graph, huh? the blue line, the blue curve, it shows the mean reverted price of the same stock, Airway Medics over the same time horizon, so approximately one year uh, from the end of May 2019 until today or until the 9th, uh, the 10th of April, so until yesterday. And my time window, my time frame for calculating the moving average is 30 days once again. Uh, when you compare those two graphs, you can see an interesting thing that volumes, that mean reverted volumes change like at a, at a different pace, generally at a faster pace than mean reverted prices. And uh, when I was trying to make sense of it, or I, when I was trying to make sense of those like two different paces of change, what came to my mind is, is rock and roll. So a music composed of two paces. There is a faster pace and there is a slower pace. There is rock and there is roll. Uh, so in this, uh, so you can essentially check, so you can essentially see that the market, the stock market works as rock and roll music would work. There is a fast pace of change in volumes traded so people change their behavior very frequently and the, the magnitude of the change in behavior is quite large because the, you can see that those mean reverted volumes swing like up to eight. And in the same time, that frequent and very uh, strong change in behavior brings like a more, let's say, moderated, more mediated change in prices, which swing much less and less frequently. This is how markets work. Frequent changes in behavior bring a slower and more easily observable change in prices. 
uh, I developed from another angle on the same logic uh, in a tutorial I placed on my YouTube channel a few days ago about prices and quantities. Anyway, in the body text of this update, you will find uh, uh, you will find a link to that to that tutorial in microeconomics. So once again. I am, uh, I am uh, wishing you a nice reading. I hope you have an interesting Easter, in spite of all. Huh? Because that's my general attitude about the current events, that whatever happens, there is a tomorrow. Huh? And uh, we just need to... We just need to keep going. Well, so, once again, in the description box below the video, you will find a link. Clicking on that link, you go to the site of my scientific blog, Discover Social Sciences, and there you can find the body text of this update with all the niceties and with all the detailed uh, reflections on uh, on that method of mean of mean uh, reversion. So happy Easter and stay strong. Bye.